Welcome to the SYBSC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. These practicals are performed with Keel software and Protease software. Whereas Keel software is used to write a program using embedded C language and Protease is used to design the circuit diagram and execute the program. So let us see how it is done. So to understand how the practical is to be performed. So the practical number one is to design and develop a reprogrammable embedded computer using 8051 microcontroller and to see how the following aspects are understood. One is programming for embedded C execution and the debugging here the microcontroller that we are going to use is 8051 so this is the simple program of blinking led uh, you see when we write the program in embedded c you have to include a package that is reg52.h then s bit led is equal to p2 raised to 1 this tells you that which port is going to be used to give the output of led so at port p2 at pin number 0 we are going to connect our led in a microcontroller so here led is used as p2 raised to 0 s bit because we are only using single bit then you have to use delay function so that you can show blinking led so this delay function we need to define further so this is the function prototype of delay function then as every c program have main function here we have the main function in embedded c as well so the main functions requires an infinite loop which will go on executing till we interrupt it or till we close it forcefully or stop it forcefully so while one will give us the infinite loop so to start with led initially led is equal to zero means the value of led pin p2 zero that is zeroth pin of port two will be set off then after some delay we are calling here the delay function so this uh, was the function prototype this is the function call and below we have written the function uh, definition so uh, after uh, calling this delay function this delay will work and after some delay led will take the value one and again since we have to show the blinking of led from on and off so we require to call the delay function after led becomes one as well so this particular uh, will go on in a while loop until we forcefully shut it down or we forcefully stop it now complete the while bracket and complete the main bracket then come to the void delay function so when we write a function definition it should be same as the function prototype that we have written so using this function we are going to create a delay so how to create a delay so this is the simplest delay that we can create there are another way also using timer we can create delay uh, I'm going to demonstrate that program also in next videos so we have to use uh, two variables now here I have used int j and int i you can use any variable uh, this need to be of type integer that will be more uh, easy to write a delay loop so this is a loop delay so see this this is nothing doing uh, than just counting the value so in counting like i is going from 0 and i is uh, going up to 10 right it's less than 10 and i plus plus so for um, every i like i is equal to 0 the instructions will only i mean the next loop will only 
count the value of j from 0 to 10,000. So this will create a delay. Now since i is uh, going from 0 to 9, so for those many times this loop will count the value of j from 0 to 10,000. And that is how while processor is busy in counting these values, this will be this will be creating a delay expected delay for us that's it so this is how the program can be written uh, here is the uh, ide keel software ide that uh, you can see which is used to program the embedded c program so when you write a program and when you save the program with dot c which is mandatory here you will automatically find that some of the keywords or the curly brackets that will be automatically matched that will be automatically interpreted and you will be notified if there is any erroneous uh, code that you have entered so i will be showing you the steps that how to add this code to your project this is just a, a user interface that i wanted to show and this is another uh, user interface of uh, pretty software this ISIS professional software which can be used as a simulator so here also you have to uh, take the processor that is microcontroller that you are going to use so how to pick this microcontroller how to pick the LED device and how to connect all this like how ground connections are done and all that will be shown in my video so let's go here for the program how the program is to be written in kill software and how the program is executed so uh, when you start a kill software you can actually search how the kill software to be open so if you have installed the kill software you will see that kill software application you can click here open and you will get this id now uh, the program which is being displayed is the previous program that i was working with so very first thing that one should do is go to the project and close project. So this will uh, close everything and that is always a better idea because it will uh, not even inadvertently add some extra components that may cause problem in our pro project. So to start with a new project, click on project and new micro region project. So when you click on new micro region project, it first asks you for the file name. Now I'm going to show you the blinking LED program. Uh, so I am here because I already have this practical one underscore blinking LED. So I'll write blinking LED underscore one so that it will be distinguishable, uh, distinguishable from the previous file that I already have. Also check that under which directory you are saving your project because later you need to uh, find the hex file of this project okay which will be formed in objects of this that particular project so you need to be aware that what is the name of your file that you have given to the project and where you have saved it so click on save so after clicking on that you will get this particular window where in search box we have to find our processor in under which we are going to work so here you can type at now you see when you type at you will find the atomel processor and the range of atomel atomel processor so you see there is a there are a lot of uh, atomel processors that are available we are specifically looking for at uh, 8 9 c 5 1 so you will see it here click on this select this AT89C51 click on OK then you will get this uh, screen where I mean you will get this dialog box where you can click simply no once you create this project you will get this target and this source group folders you see that right now source group have don't have anything into it now here we are going to add the C program so how to add so click for this new file you can also add this from file menu and new or you can directly use this menu button so click on the new file now i have already written the program as i have already shown you on the ppt so i'll copy this program and will paste it here now see this that 
the program that I have pasted is not interpreted yet because this file is still in text format. So first very first thing that you will be doing after this is save this file with .c extension. So I will be saving this file with .c extension. So I will be using same name as my project name but here I'll save it with .c. Again it is not necessary that you should save this program with the same name as you have saved your pro project file. Uh, also just check the save as type that needs to be all files. Then click on this save button. So once you click on the save button you see that this program got interpreted and all the keywords have got different intensity that is color intensity. You see S bit is recognized differently. Then curly braces that matching curly braces can be uh, seen and this is all interpreted in this IDE once you save it with .c. The further step that you will be doing is right click on source group 1 and click on add existing files to the group. So when you click on this you will find that the file that just now you have saved with .c extension will be visible here in this package. So click on add and click on close. So after clicking on add you see this our program got added here. The next step to do, do is click right click on this target and click on options for the target. So the very first thing that you will be doing is changing the frequency of this microcontroller. So the microcontroller 8059 sorry, 8051 that we have chosen works on 11.0592 hertz of frequency so you have to change this and then click on output tab and click here create hex file once done click ok now the all the settings have been done now you have to build the target so to build the target you can directly use this menu button or you can right click on it and you can click on build target so after clicking on build target you will see that at output window you will see zero errors and zero warnings you should get this message uh, this message is important because uh, otherwise that uh, tells you that there are some problems or warnings or errors so if you get zero errors and zero warnings that means your hex file is created now this hex file we are going to use in our protease software now here also you see that the previous file is being displayed so as you want to create a new file click on new uh, before that you can save the previous design if you want to save uh, here i'll just click on uh, sorry uh, here i'll click on no because i don't want to save that uh, so you get the new file uh, new environment where you can design your uh, program so very first thing is that you have to uh, use here the microcontroller so how to choose microcontroller so if anything else is selected from this toolbox click on this this is component mode click on processor and type here a t h so this is what the microcontroller that you will be selecting 8089C51 click on OK we need one more component and that is LED so just type your LED and you will get here the LED devices so amongst different LED colors you can select any generic LED or colorful LED so I am searching for yellow colored LED so I will use this yellow colored LED now we have to place the microcontroller on the canvas so select and drag it and place it somewhere you can click here on zoom so that you can read the ports properly so here is the port number one and this is the port number pin zero port number two pin zero where we are going to use the led uh, sorry, connect the led so here is the led now to connect you have to just extend this line like this now this LED is another connection needs to be a ground to do that here 
is the terminal modes from that you have to select this ground terminal place it here press the escape button so that you will come out of that terminal mode and then connect this second end of LED to the ground terminal then the next step is double click on microcontroller and here you have to attach the file the hex file that we have just created so you have to navigate to that folder where you have selected now you will get your hex file in object folder so in object folder you ha must have seen now that this was the file name and that project name this will be all the hex file will always created will be always created with the hex uh, project file name so this hex file you have to select here you can change the frequency so the frequency was 11.0592 uh, well, that was megahertz, not just hertz. Uh, then click on OK. That's it. Now the program and the simulation is ready to be executed. So to execute this simulation, click on this play button. So when you click on this play button, you will see that the LED is glowing. I selected LED color of as yellow. So it is glowing with a yellow color. You can use different colors. LEDs that, that are available in this simulation and you can create different LED patterns as well. We are actually going to see how the different LED patterns can be generated using this sim kind of simulation. So that's it how the simple blinking LED program can be done. Now here is the uh, stop button by which you can stop this simulation. So this is how blinking LED program can be implemented. Thank you for watching this video.